Jason Galloway reporting for the Crimson White. The Alabama basketball team improved to 5-1 in the SEC with a win over LSU and Coleman Coliseum on Saturday. Convincing 70-46 victory over the Tigers keeps the Crimson Tide on top of the SEC standings and keeps its hopes alive for a dark horse chance at the NCAA tournament. Alabama got an unexpected spark from Andrew Steele in his seventh game back from ankle surgery that ended his 2009-2010 campaign as a sophomore guard posted season highs with seven points and four rebounds. I mean, it's a lot of fun just to play in general, but, you know, it makes it a lot more fun when you win and, you know, just be able to help my team, you know, get back on the court. You know, it feels really good, you know, the fact that we're finally winning, you know, it feels, makes it a lot better. Alabama beat the Tigers like they've beaten everyone else this year with inspired rebounding and shutdown defense. On top of dominating the glass 43-24 on Saturday, the Tide is now ranked fifth in the country in scoring defense, allowing just 56.8 points per game. What we've been able uh, to hang our head on has been defense, you know, and our guys uh, understand that. They understand who we are as a basketball team, and, and I think you, you see with every game uh, more and more uh, uh, confidence in terms of our ability uh, to, to really be a lockdown defensive team. And, I thought we did a very good job of that today. Alabama has won eight of its last nine games, but the tight now enters its most important stretch of the season. Its game against Mississippi State on Wednesday is followed by road games at Tennessee and at Vanderbilt. Those three games could go a long way in determining Alabama's hopes for the NCAA tournament. It's been Jason Galloway reporting for the Crimson White.